or what I focused on doing was blow drying her legs really well, but I did not like really blow dry all this through because she was moving a lot and I know that's hard on her body, okay? So this will air dry here, her head a little bit, right? I don't want to stress you out too much. And then we're just going to get back into it. I'm, I'm trying some new things, so I'm going to, I'm going to put a glove on because now we're using like two, two, three, set, two sets of gloves during the groom, so. I'm going to do right hand clipper and left hand glove, see if this is what I should do. And then I really do need to get some different kind of glove, we'll see. I'm going to watch, watch the waist. Okay. So get um, your seven blade back on. Yeah, you need you. I can feel it. You already need to. You need both hands have gloves. You need to. Okay, that's not gonna work. Hey, you, what are you talking to? What are you talking to, girl? I'm just gonna clean up some stuff now. I got my seven blade on here. Just real light, skim, skim, skim. Come back with the 10 underneath. I cannot lift her leg because of her issues. So we'll just come down nice here. And again back here. Alright, get your 10 blade. All those folds around looks like she has definitely had some allergy issues down up in her hair. Bad too. I'm sure they know it, but I will brief them. And I'll give you guys a close up here in a minute. All right, get your four guard back on here. Get your blade brush, clean that out a little bit. And I want to clean your tin blade up too. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna come down the leg a little bit. You guys see him? It's okay. Look at her man. She is ready to go. They do not like me shaving down the front of the legs. We tried it once, we all didn't like it. So then they understood and I understood, you know, it doesn't look good on her because she's pretty bony. Meaning you can see the bone. If you go too short. So we'll do the four guard down and then just scissor it around the feet.
Don't go nowhere. I'm actually going to come back up here and look at the four guard. Uh, 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 uh. Four guard down. Don't keep doing that. It's a tiny bit wet, so this is what happens. It kind of sticks in there. See all that hair sticking in there? So go ahead and, you know, you don't want to do a lot of wet hair, but like little stuff like that is not, to me, is not going to ruin anything. Over and over, yeah, you're going to dull your blade. But just a little bit, little bit here and there all year round is, I don't fit, find it's a huge difference. I get that question a lot. You do want to groom a whole wet dog, that's your thing. There's it's something new people are doing, I think. I'm not okay with that. I don't want to groom a whole wet dog, so it's on you, you know, to try it out and see if you like it and see how your tools do. Okay, so we got that. 10 blade, 10 blade, 10 blade, okay? Come back in again. Go ahead and clean this out. I'm gonna get your cleaner out. I like the Anda smell better than I like the Oster smell when it comes to the sanitizer and or excuse me, disinfectant coolant lube. I prefer the Andes over the Oster. Y'all companies, go ahead and make me one that smells like flowers, man. I need a company to come up with some of this disinfectant that smells less like alcohol. Good gosh, it's strong too, you know what I'm saying? Something that can actually kill the, the stuff but smell good. And maybe, can, is it possible? Can you guys make one that is like, um, vegan? You know, like something like good for the environment. Is that even possible? Can it kill bacteria but also be vegan? Is that possible? Can we make that happen? If it's out there, please somebody let me know. We'll totally change. With less chemicals, but it, it's gotta do its job got to be able to work. I don't have the time to make that. It's already out there. It's just a matter of changing chemicals and stuff. All right, now let's come back. Just round off these feet here. All right, here I'm going to use the Dog Up Mini here to help me give her that lift right there. And we already trimmed up there, okay? So I'm going to, because of her bone issues, we'll come up here and do the same thing. It'll give me that, so I can see it real easy right here, just like that, boom, boom, boom. Give her that edge. It's okay, baby girl. For me to trim, right? Want to rest? You come this way, one more. The key in working with disabled dogs is to move faster than normal and don't be too picky. Because they're already in an uncomfortable situation and they really just want to get done. You're gonna lift up are you gonna lift yourself up on that thing? You are. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come down here. Come down. You're something else. Lolly, you're something else. All right, we're going to brush this forward here. See something? Go ahead and take it. That's her foot right there. That's her digit. Okay. 
okay. You're okay. Good girl. Now we're going to slowly wrap this up. Push your ears down here. I'm going to do a bit of leave-in conditioner in my favorite spray bottle. And then do our rainforest cologne, two squirts. Good to go.